M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's take a look at the new Kenwood D75 and the ICOM 52 side by side. Right now you can see we've got the waterfall running and I, I wanted to put that in because it's not a feature that you get with your Kenwood uh, D75. So what's the, dip, what's the main difference between these two? Well, the, D, the 52 is a wider, bigger screen, I would say with a, a, a shortcut type keypad that we've got up here on the 75. But at the, at beneath here, we've got a full keypad there. And the 75 does APRS, has a built-in TNC, KISS, DigiPeter, and connect, can connect to a reflector XLX, DCS, XRF, wirelessly using its Bluetooth and the DB Connect software by PA7 LIM. So also the 75 has full HF band. So if I go to the B section here, come out of digital and then scroll across to the right. There you are, I can now, I can start to use the HF bands, but not transmit to receive only. And it's all of the HF bands and it's obviously AM, FM, but it's, USB, LSB, CW. You can't do that with the 52. The 52 really is an analog digital radio. They both have broadcast radio and they, and they do it very well. Let's just switch out there. They both run what we call the DR mode, which is what we're in now, DR mode. If we hold down, we go into normal mode, that's VFO, and then you've got memory here. And on this one here, if we select, come out of digital and then go to memory, we've got our memory channels here. And when we get to GPS lock, they both do excellent with GPS. Now we, 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 we do have a lock here on the 52. And we yesterday when I was sat here, I'm inside this small room, there's big thick walls here. It's quite hard to get a GPS lock in this room but when you do get it the information is excellent you just go f6 and you scroll along and there's your sort of satellite view i think we're picking up a couple of well, one satellite there at least it may improve so they both do they both have bluetooth and the bluetooth does work with headsets if you want to use the 52 without using a hotspot that's fine. You just put a USB cable in. You can connect to a program called Doozy, again by PA7 LIM, and you're on the reflectors, and you, and it work it, it it works great. I've made several videos on that. They both have dual D star receive, so come out of that menu there, and let's just remember how to do dual. Yeah, there you are, A and B. So that's dual. I go to the B and hold down, dual D star, and exactly the same. If I go menu here, I've only had this radio for a few hours, so I'm having to remember everything. So there's digital on the A band. If we go to the B and go to the mode, there's a mode button here, so we're just collecting, see if I can get digital. I did it last night because I made a video with dual receive. VFO mode, and then digital. I'm not going to be able to do it now, am I? But they will. And I, you, I had DR mode on the A and the B section at the same time. One was receiving my open spot. One was receiving my MMDVM hotspot. You can see here, and it worked. And I tested it, and you could hear both at the same time. And the knobs are very similar as well. Similar type antennas and antenna connections. The batteries are interchangeable with all the 51, 52 and 50, the 74 and 75. Yes, you can, you know, inter, in, you can change, swap the batteries and there's the 75 there. It's got an orangey colour front where the, the 75 has gone with this sort of light blue, which is very nice. And it's all backlit at night. Um, they both will receive airband, marine band, and they're both very wide band. They're, they're like scanners, both of them. And you'll see that the new scanner that's come out is identical looking to the ICOM 52. That's the new ICOM scanner. 
you've got to remember that Icom and Kenwood, they don't make bad products. They only make the best products. You know, I, of all the devices I've got here, Yesu, Icom, Kenwood, they are always excellent, excellent. And their customer service is the same. And, 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 and they really earn that. So they both do DTMF. You've got DTMF keypads. On the Kenwood, they've done it so that all the front buttons here have a function like you've got tone and tone squelch for your repeaters and shift. And then you've got an F button. They they both use like a grid menu system. There's your grid menus. The Kenwood, because it's got so many functions, it's got a sub a sub digital menu as well. So let's see if we can get that menu. When you're in digital mode on the A band in VFO. They are VFO, tap digital, so that's our DR mode. Then go F digital, and you get this digital sub menu. And you can program the 75 via Bluetooth. All of the programs on this device, if they work on a USB cable, they will also work via Bluetooth, and that is tremendous. You get excellent free software with both of these, or you might go for the RT system software, which is excellent. If you really care about having full APRS, then the 75 is going to be the one for you because it's also a Digipeter TNC. The ICOM runs what they call DPRS. It still works quite well. You'll show up an APRS FI and, you know, and it's going to send out your location and some short messages and, and your information as well. That works well. You've got the, the, just the normal radio there. If I come out of this F menu... Hit menu, you'll see there's a radio there, GPS. They both record, they both play back audio for blind, you know, blind uh, users. And terminal mode, yes, DV gateway mode. They've both got DV gateway mode. Now, whether they work in exactly the same, I don't know. But to run the new DV Connect app, you go to menu and you go across to the D, go down to DV gateway. Keep going, pretty sure, where is it? I've lost it now, had it yesterday. DV gateway, and you turn on terminal mode. There it is there, and if we select it, turn it to reflect a terminal mode, enter, go back to the main screen with the menu button. A green term appears on the screen here, it says term. So now it's ready to be used with your DV Connect app by PA7LIM. Thanks very much for that. Let's go back to menu. We've got access mode there as well. I'm trying to remember everything. Oh yeah, they both have SD cards. There is no USB-C on the 52. There's micro USB, which is there. I'll show you the USB-C on here. They both got the ability to have the, the usual speaker microphones, but there's your USB-C, DC charger, and I need to get an SD card in there as well. I use an adapter when using when using my 52. So I always use USB-C. The adapter I use is that. I just plug that in the side. USB-C is there, and it works fine. Cost about 50p, I think. So let me know if I've missed anything. Just getting to acquainted with the 75. And price-wise, you know, 500, 550, nearer 800 for the for the 75. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. In the background, you've got the DV Mega Hotspot. And just go on to Facebook and talk to Carl and he'll sort you out. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. 73, they're both fantastic devices, if you ask me. Fantastic. Um, and you're going to, either one, you're going to be very, very happy with it. 7.3.